Here we have an Asus laptop model number G733ZS that came in for repair. And the customer only mailed over the motherboard. He did not mail over the laptop, but just the motherboard. So we cannot test it. What can you do? When a customer does not mail over the laptop, then we're going to work on the motherboard and not be able to fully test it. Customer wrote, power jack was replaced by a computer shop here in Panama City. A chip beside the jack was broken and replaced from a donor board. Now I have no power. The motherboard has been replaced and would like to see if the board can be repaired. So it looks like the board has been to another shop. He mentioned something about the power connector and a chip right next to it. And the customer also mentioned that he already replaced his board and he just wants to see if this one can be saved. Let me take a look at the power jack quick. That's a beginner's soldering job, but what can you do? As long as we have 19 volts going in, then we should be okay. And look at that soldering. Look at that beautiful soldering here. Here, 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 and here. A beginner. The person who worked on this board is a beginner. But where can you find a good shop to work on your soldering? That's why I'm here. And that's why people mail over their devices to us. I don't know. Maybe I jumped the gun. It looks like that connector was never removed in the first place. Look at the soldering on this joint. That's factory. Maybe the shop attempted to remove that connector and was not successful. And I'm able to tell because of this. That's factory soldering. Perfect. The customer or the shop may have attempted to remove that connector and was not successful. The connector looks secured. Those are to hold the connector and they are not data lines or power line. I'll touch up on this here. And we'll move on. I have a video card on my bench I put on the side. And the customer said fans are not working. And no display. So I did a quick visual inspection. And this is what I found. Another Hiroshima here. It looks like we are missing components. I do see a capacitor right here. I do not know what components are missing and I do not have a board view diagram for this model. This is the EVGA 2080 or 3080 Ti. EVGA 3080 Ti. If you have a board view for this board, send it to me or leave me a link. It looks like we have another knocked component here. Look at this inductor, it's moving. EVGA 3080 Ti. If you have a board view diagram, let me know. Maybe we can help fix this card. But I'm going to keep it on the side for now. And let's continue working on this board here. And that's how you do better than factory joints. It looks so easy. Yeah. Practice is the mother of all skills. That's what I call better than factory. Let's touch up on those two on the bottom. as long as we do not have any missing components in this area. And where's that chip the customer was talking about?
probably this guy right here, down on the bottom. The chip is crooked. Right, so now we have solder making its way all the way to the top. And we're not gonna worry about that chip for the time being. Now, before we plug power in the board, let's go ahead and measure to see if we have a short circuit on the board. That's our charging connector here. And we have two MOSFETs, we can measure right here, and we have it that short. No way. Are you kidding me? Why am I not surprised? Every Asus laptop has a short circuit. If we measure at the current sense, we have a short. If we measure at the current sense, we have a short. And if we measure at the current sense, we have a short. So we do have a short circuit. Now the customer said the charging connector and the chip were replaced. I do not know if there was a need to replace a charging connector if in fact it was replaced. But if that chip was cracked or blown, then yes. But the most important thing right now is we have a short circuit. Where is that short circuit coming from? We're going to inject voltage and monitor the board under a thermal camera and see what gets hot. And if that short voltage injection tool if you're in the same type of business or you are doing this as a hobby, you can purchase the voltage injection tool off our site, the NF.short. And it looks like this. If the camera can focus, but of course it cannot. What can you do? Whatever you need, you can purchase directly off our site. Everything from soldering stations, hot air stations, this amazing microscope, the articulating arm, anti-glare light, ring light, Flux, Braidwick, the Northridge Fix, soldering wire. One stop shop. Just order at Tokar Checkout Pay, and we almost always ship out same day. If you have ordered from us before, you know how fast we ship. Let's go ahead and inject voltage and see what gets hot on the board. If you don't already have a thermal camera, add that thermal camera to cart. We have them in stock. Whatever tools we carry and sell, that's what we use on our bench. We do not just sell for the sake of selling, that's part of it, but we sell because we believe in those tools. They went through a lot of testing, we use them on our bench, and you do not need to do your research anymore. I've done that research for you. Just buy with your eyes closed. So let's go ahead and inject voltage. We can do it at the second MOSFET or at any side of the current sense resistor. So the current sense resistor where I'm injecting voltage is getting hot and that's normal. Let's look elsewhere on the board. It looks like the heat may be coming from back of the board. Let's inject voltage and flip the board. Look at this. Look at this right there. Right there. Okay. Probably one of those capacitors. I do see one of them that does not look good. Can you spot it? Probably this guy right here. That's the bad guy. That's probably the guy who is causing the short. Without wasting any time, Let's go ahead and remove this capacitor. If that's not the bad guy, then we'll figure it out. But I do see some discoloration on this cap. Just a shot in the dark.
Okay, so that cap is gone anyway. It snapped to the ninth dimension. I cannot get that cap back even if that cap was good. Let me flip the board. Hopefully that's the cause of the problem. Meter in diet mode and do we still have a short? Now look at this. <laughs> the short is gone. A shot in the dark and the short is gone. What more do you want? Who can possibly do it faster? We do not have a short circuit anymore. And there is a 99% chance the board is fixed. Customer did not mail over the laptop so we can test it. But as far as I know it, the board is fixed. Does the board possibly have other issues? Maybe. Who knows? We touched top on the connector and we got rid of the short. And for this, let's use our anti-glare light. And look at the difference. Wow. More saturation, more contrast. You do not see any reflections. Look at the greens, look at the blues. Amazing. We're going to test one more time, then we're going to invoice and mail this back to the customer. No short, no short, no short, and no short circuit. We are done. We cannot test the board, unfortunately, because the customer did not mail over the laptop. But we fixed the problem, and we do not have a short circuit anymore. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.